Hi guys, welcome back to Design Cultural and this is Masood Ali speaking and I hope you all are doing super fine. So yeah, today let's begin with our uh, tutorial on the navigation and like well, what are the basics of navigation and what rules need to be applied and uh, and two more animations like basically. So I'll, I'll start with the, what do you see that? I'll start with navigation part and then I'll go with uh, animations. So our first first basic animation, we, um, basic navigation is a logo. Like we have our logo, so everyone everyone uses this. Okay, this is bad. Let me just change the color. Yeah, so we'll have our logo here. Just to make it a little more appealing, I'll just draw two lines below it. So once this is ready, uh, hold this. It is like a logos logo. So, yeah, something like this would be nice. Okay, and um, why not go to fifteen? No, 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 not fifteen. Uh, six. I'll go six. This lighter it looks, and even this semi gold. Let's make it hundred itself. Okay, and we have our logo ready. So we'll I'll just uh, group this logo by making it a little short. I'll group the logo and uh, I'll, I'll I'll start using my content menu, menu navigation, menu items basically. So I'll just go with home, reduce the text to fifty or forty-five. Yes, forty-five. Even even smaller, maybe a thirty thirty-two would be fine. Now, even though it, it, it is a little bigger, it is still big. I'll, I'll, I'll actually have to make this one smaller. It's not, it's not have a lot of uh, space. I'm like it's not occupy a lot of space in a in your home page. It should, it, it should just be a part of brand that it should be in the side and it should show you that that you are in this website and it should not be the whole content part itself. So yeah, there. I'll make this twenty four. 24 looks fine I'll just go here I'll make a 4 basically 4 will be a home about us about us will be there and we'll have a contact us this might not be in a proper form but uh, the basic ones which I think should be there in every website Okay, so I'll just make it a distance and I'll, I'll actually first turn on the grid so that I have a, a good idea on where, where do I put this stuff. Okay, so we have uh, based on the grid, it, it, this this is what your basic uh, navigation looks like. So what I would do now is there, there are a lot of ways that we can play around this. There is one more uh, which stays in the center, the logo stays in the center. The, these two come here and these two come here. so it, it, it is it is a modern modern looking navigation and like it might not be appealing at the first but I I personally like the layouting of this so like if, if you even have a search button you can always add a search search is e a r c h okay so if you always have a search also you can always use search control x control v it will it will have a impact it will have a different different impact uh, center line this top okay and this come i'll go here and uh, so we have a we have a basic one so basic search which could uh, have brought up we have a selected anything okay so i am here and then we have our logo that is light i'm gonna look icon of this uh, search i can search search icon it could it, yeah it, it, it if it is visible that's more than enough and uh yeah the rule that everyone needs to follow when they're designing is that you will have to show a navigation or uh, like navigation as in like that you are in this page or something like that a, a small differentiation where you give a slight change in your current uh, situated page and your 
uh, other pieces like i would i would i would always recommend give a small underline below whatever is selected and go with 5 not 5 3 and rounded caps with the same color of this so uh, so the difference what i have made here is uh, i have my selected item in semi bold and uh, the no non selected item in regular mode so this is there and what else uh, so this one this is one type of menu there is another type of menu where you have hamburger menu and i i i sometimes feel that it is not usable pro, you, it might have some usable issues but okay if it is looking good you can work on it like no worries on that so this is one actually where you have a hamburger menu you have a select this make it big and maybe keep it okay i was able to do this now three rounded caps so so this this is one and like if you click on this it will open up another page or it will just slide from top bottom or left right anywhere it could slide uh, slide through it and show us all the items i just i'll just give you an example for this in case we have all this we will i'll move the everything here from here okay so in case this is our uh, thing this whole page might get uh, colored into the logo color and uh, the logo can go to white then this will go to white we have this we always have this so the contrast might be, might not look good but yeah something near to this is, is appreciated get this here and like remove the one line remove the second line as well just grab it okay uh, control c uh, control c control v v okay i'll just flip it so we have a x mark uh, it is one easy easy way to create an x mark just drag one line and flip it okay i'll just group it so basically if if i click here we have all this i'll just take this okay uh, make it white okay and uh, we we have this this looks beautiful i am i have no doubt in this this has a very beautiful effect on users so if you are in home it, it could show like this also so the home is a little bigger than other items of that is that and yeah uh, i have shown three different types of menu now we'll move on to animation part the animation part is i'll make a small artboard uh, not a big one small artboard so, yeah i'll i'll type in a text right and uh, change the color to this okay so i have i have a subscribe so yeah and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel i am almost near to getting 100 subscribers so a uh, sub, sub would be helpful to the channel so uh, I'll, i'll i'll show you two different types of animations one could be one could be something like i'll just make a component out of it making component and uh, animating a single element is very uh, very easy actually if you give me control c control v so we have two two of the same uh, buttons one i'll give a border one i'll move this i'll just put it maybe three and huh. so we have a border as well if you see we have a border and uh, what i will do is i'll select the back one by holding shift okay i will not like that but huh. so once this is there i will make it a small really small not this but the top one I'll, i'll pull this in i'll make this small holding alt and like get the center and reduce the opacity okay so once i am here this is in default state once i click on this i have a hover state in which i again click on this there is i'll make this big increase the opacity 
basically fit it to what size is this it is 88 so i'll make this also 88 so two number six and okay so i have this one uh default and four shift c shift c and shift m and then four shift c and shift m i think i made a mistake here because i moved the I, I elements there basically so what i'll do is i'll just remove the four part i'll shift c and m okay and i'll, I'll what i'll do is i'll hold alt make it big make it 88 as we had seen so once that 88 is there we can always make this get this oh no no get this one on top of it so how our animation is going to look is i play the animation okay it's already in forward state ah oh, damn okay so we will restart with this thing okay uh, once i've selected the component i'll go and make a hover state i forgot to make a hover state last time so yeah i'll go with this 88 88 and uh, fill in the opacity by 100 percent and here we are so what i'll do now is i'll go to default state if i click on this oh see it, it gives that animation small animation of yeah you're about to click on this this could be used in footers or if you're making a complete different type of website where 100% uh, animation you want a lot of animations and yeah I'll, I'll try to get the code for this and help you out even help the even the coders also so that it'll, it'll be easy for them to uh, design this and uh, the second one second animation what I was trying to show is again the same stroke and the fill play what I'll do is I'll just go here, delete this, my, delete this shift control G. Okay, I have uh, I again have this uh, fill and uh, stroke door. So what I'll do is I will just get this out of here. Hmm. So I'll, I'll I'll draw a box on it. But the thing is, it, it is it is little complicated. I would not recommend any beginners to do this. But yeah, this this is this is really simple. This one is really simple. So what I'll do is I'll just make a mask out of it. Okay, I'll mask it out. Shift Control M. Okay. So once I have my mask ready, so this will be in this format. So okay, I'll, I'll just make it as com control K and uh, remove the remove this one. okay so once I click on hover effect so I will have this and this okay so once this is done i i guess i guess yeah see this it it, it it looks like it is filling up the space so yeah thank you for watching and uh, do like share and subscribe to my channel i hope you like the content of which i'm making and yeah we are near to 100 subscribers and i would really love if i would hit 100 subscribers before i make my next video uh, so yeah, thank you. Uh, see you in the next video.